Have you ever wondered about the colossal planet that outshines every other planet in our solar system? Yes, we're talking about Jupiter. As the largest planet in our solar system, Jupiter is a celestial body that has been captivating the human imagination for centuries. This gas giant over 11 times the diameter of Earth is the fifth planet from the Sun. Despite its distance, Jupiter is one of the brightest objects in the night sky, outshone only by Venus, the Moon, and sometimes Mars. Its striking appearance with bands of swirling clouds and the iconic Great Red Spot, a massive storm that has been raging for at least 300 years, makes Jupiter a unique and fascinating planet. It's a world that is rich in history, filled with endless mysteries, and continues to teach us more about the vast, expansive universe we're a part of. Jupiter, a gas giant, is a marvel of our solar system that has fascinated astronomers for centuries. Ancient astronomers first spotted Jupiter in the night sky, but it was Galileo's discovery that truly brought this giant into focus. With just a simple telescope, Galileo Galilei, an Italian astronomer, made a breakthrough in the early 17th century. He spotted four points of light surrounding Jupiter which we now know as the Galilean moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. This discovery not only confirmed that not everything revolved around the Earth, but it also sparked a deeper curiosity about our solar system. Over the centuries, our fascination with Jupiter has only grown. We have come to appreciate its vastness, its powerful magnetic field, and its captivating bands of swirling clouds. But the journey of discovery didn't stop with Galileo. Modern space missions have given us a closer look at the gas giant, revealing a world far more complex and intriguing than our ancestors could have imagined. These initial discoveries laid the groundwork for our understanding of this gigantic planet and its many moons. Jupiter is not your typical planet. Its size, mass, and composition make it a standout in our solar system. Jupiter is a gas giant composed primarily of hydrogen and helium, much like the Sun. This composition sets it apart from terrestrial planets like our Earth, which are primarily made of rock and metal. Now, let's talk about size. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. It's so big, in fact, that over 1,000 Earths could fit inside it. This immense size contributes to its massive gravitational pull, which is about two and a half times that of Earth. That's right, if you were to stand on Jupiter, not that you could, given its lack of solid ground, you'd weigh two and a half times your Earth weight. This enormous mass also results in a strong magnetic field, the strongest of any planet in our solar system. This magnetic field traps charged particles, creating intense radiation belts and producing the brightest auroras in the solar system. But what makes Jupiter truly iconic are its atmospheric features. Perhaps the most famous of these is the Great Red Spot, a colossal storm that's been raging for centuries. It's so large that three Earths could fit inside it. That's one persistent storm. Jupiter's atmosphere also features distinctive bands and zones, these are caused by differing temperatures and atmospheric pressures, leading to the planet's striking striped appearance. The darker bands, known as belts, are regions of descending gas, while the lighter zones are areas where gas is rising. The bands and zones, the great red spot, the magnetic field, the massive size and gravity, all of these factors weave together to form the complex, fascinating tapestry that is Jupiter. These characteristics make Jupiter a unique and complex member of our solar system. Jupiter's family is large, with more than 79 known moons and a faint ring system. A family reunion in this case would be quite the spectacle, wouldn't it? The standout members of this moon family are the Galilean moons, named for their discoverer, Galileo Galilei. These four moons are Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. First up is Io, the most volcanically active body in our solar system. It's a world constantly being reshaped by its volcanic eruptions, with landscapes that change in the blink of an eye. This extreme volcanic activity is due to the intense gravitational tugs from Jupiter and the other Galilean moons. Next we have Europa, a moon that looks like a cracked billiard ball from space. Beneath its icy surface, scientists believe there's a vast subsurface ocean, possibly twice the volume of all of Earth's oceans combined. Europa's ocean could potentially harbor life, making it a prime target for future exploration. Then there's Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system, even bigger than the planet Mercury. Ganymede is the only moon known to have its own magnetic field, hinting at a molten or partially molten core. 
Last but not least is Callisto, the most heavily cratered object in the solar system. Its ancient surface records billions of years of impacts, providing a glimpse into the history of our solar system. Beyond the Galilean moons, Jupiter has a host of smaller moons, each with its own unique story. Some of these moons are thought to be captured asteroids or comets forever trapped by Jupiter's immense gravity. And let's not forget Jupiter's faint ring system. Unlike the bold and bright rings of Saturn, Jupiter's rings are composed of tiny dark particles, making them difficult to see. But they're there, adding another layer of intrigue to this giant planet. Each moon of Jupiter is a world in its own right, presenting a unique environment and set of mysteries to unravel. Jupiter's moons and rings are just as fascinating as the planet itself, and their exploration will continue to challenge and inspire us. Our knowledge of Jupiter has been shaped by various exploration missions, each revealing a new facet of this gas giant. The first real close-ups of Jupiter came from the pioneer flybys in the early 70s. These missions provided us with the first detailed images of Jupiter's cloud tops and a glimpse of its intense radiation belts. But it was the Voyager missions in the late 70s that truly brought Jupiter into focus. Voyager's stunning images and scientific data gave us an unprecedented view of Jupiter's turbulent atmosphere, its complex magnetic field and its diverse moons. Then in the late 90s, the Galileo orbiter arrived at Jupiter embarking on a mission that would last nearly eight years. Galileo revolutionized our understanding of the Jovian system, exploring Jupiter's atmosphere, magnetosphere, and its moons in detail. It discovered evidence of subsurface oceans on Europa and Ganymede, and revealed active volcanism on Io among its many achievements. Fast forward to the 2010s and the Juno mission took the torch. Juno's primary goal was to understand the origin and evolution of Jupiter. With its suite of scientific instruments, Juno has been peering beneath Jupiter's cloud cover, studying its auroras and measuring its magnetic and gravity fields. Juno's findings have been nothing short of spectacular, challenging our assumptions and providing new insights about Jupiter's internal structure, atmospheric dynamics, and even its origin. And let's not forget about the contributions from ground-based observatories and the Hubble Space Telescope, which have continued to monitor Jupiter, complementing and enhancing the findings of these space missions. Each mission has been a stepping stone, building on the discoveries of its predecessors and opening new avenues of inquiry. From understanding Jupiter's complex weather patterns to uncovering the secrets of its magnetic field and studying its intriguing moons, these missions have deepened our understanding of Jupiter and its place in the solar system. These missions have provided us with a wealth of information, but there is still much to learn about Jupiter. Jupiter's size and mass don't just make it a giant among planets, they also give it a significant role in the solar system. With a gravitational pull second only to the Sun, Jupiter's massive gravity impacts the orbits of other bodies in our celestial neighborhood. It acts like a cosmic traffic cop, nudging asteroids and comets off course, often away from a potential collision course with Earth. In a way, Jupiter is our planetary bodyguard protecting us from space debris. But Jupiter's story doesn't end there. Its enormous mass has led some to label it as a failed star. While it didn't gather enough material to ignite nuclear fusion at its core and become a star, understanding Jupiter offers valuable insights into how planetary systems form. Jupiter's role in our solar system is as colossal as its size, influencing everything from the orbits of other bodies to the safety of our own planet. So, what's next for our exploration of Jupiter? As we've journeyed through our discussion, we've discovered Jupiter's grandeur, from its imposing size as the largest planet in our solar system to its captivating moons and rings. We've delved into its atmospheric features, such as the iconic Great Red Spot, and understood the vital role it plays in our solar system, acting as a shield for Earth and influencing the orbits of other celestial bodies. Our quest for knowledge doesn't end here. In the pipeline, we have missions like the Europa Clipper that aim to probe deeper into the mysteries of Jupiter's moon, Europa. Scientists believe that beneath Europa's icy surface lies a vast ocean, potentially harboring the ingredients necessary for life. This mission, and others like it, will continue to peel back the layers of Jupiter, revealing new insights about this colossal gas giant. As we continue to explore Jupiter, who knows what incredible discoveries await us in the depths of this gas giant?